Good morning everyone. Myself Mukta, your science subject teacher and I welcome back with the next class. Today we are going to start our chapter 3 that is parts of a plant and their function. Let have a glance once again on the structure of different parts of a plant and how each part of a plant are beneficial to us. What are plants? Plants are living thing. Plants are made up of cell. They need air, water, soil and sunlight to live. They cannot move from one place to another, but their leaf moves to catch the sun and their roots move to get water. Their seed can be carried by animals or blown by the wind. How plants grow from? Plants grows from seed. Each seed contain a tiny plant and waiting for the right condition to germinate now let us know more about the parts of a plant and their function different plant parts do a different job a plant has two main part the part that grow under the ground is called root system and the part that grow above the ground is called shoot system roots the roots of a plant generally grow below the ground they fix the plant firmly in the ground roots are not green in color but usually found inside the soil root acts like a straw which absorb water and mineral from the soil roots are of two type tap root and fibrous root first one tap root Tap root consists of main thick root which grow from and of the stem. Many small root arises from the main root. Tap root found in plant like peepal, rose and tomato etc. Second one is fibrous root. When number of roots grow from the and of the stem is called fibrous root. Fibrous root is opposite to tap root. It look like a mat made out of roots. fibrous root found in plants like onion grass and wheat now let us see the function of the roots roots hold the plant firmly to the ground root take in water mineral and salt from the ground root hold the soil and prevent it being washed away by water or wind desert plant develop long root that go deep down in search of water shoot the shoot system of a plant grow above the ground the shoot system consists of stem leaf flower bud fruits and branches the different part of a shoot system are as follow stem stem is the main part of shoot system it bears leaf branches bud flower and fruits stem can be short or long the stem grow above the soil from the pimules stem act like plant plumbing system which conduct water and nutrients from the root and produce food in form of glucose from the leaf to other part of a plant there are node on a stem leaf come out at the node the part of a stem between two node is called internode the tip of the stem is called bud stem are two type climbers and creeper climbers stem of some plants are weak they cannot stand on their own plant which need support of another plant or stick to stand those plants are called climber some climbers have coiled spring like parts called tendrils to hold on to the support some example of climbers are grape vine pea and money plant creepers some plants crawl along the ground they are called creepers creeper plants trail on the ground because fruits which they bear cannot carry by them some examples of creeper are watermelon and pumpkin Now let us see the function of the stem. The stem hold the plant upright. 
the stamp has hollow tube through which it carries water minerals and salt from the root to the leaf where food is produced by the stamp carried the prepare food by the leaf to other part of a plant sometime extra food is stored in stamp like potato ginger and sugar cane which store food in the stamp potato and ginger are stamp that grow underground they are called tuber leaf leaf is the green part of a plant without leaf a plant would not able to obtain enough food for survival leaf can be tiny or big leaf of a plant contain green pigment called chlorophyll this chlorophyll give them green color the flat part of a leaf is called leaf blade or lamina when you observe leaf carefully you will find some lines running across on the lower surface of the leaf these lines are tubes called as vein these vein carry water and minerals to the leaf a thin tube running through the middle of the leaf is called midrib many small veins arises from the main vein are called side vein the leaf has a tiny hole called stomata the plants breathe through these hole leaf carry out the process of photosynthesis now let us see the process of photosynthesis photosynthesis is the process in which plant use carbon dioxide and water in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll to prepare food and release oxygen and sugar leaf are consider as food factory or kitchen of a plant the food is prepared by the leaf is stored in form of starch flower flower is the most attractive part of a plant we see different type of flower around us flower come in many shapes size and colors some flower have sweet smell flower grows from the bud on the stem flower has four main part sepal petal stamen pistil the flower is attached to the tip of the stem now one by one let us know more about the parts of a flower first is sepal sepal are green in color they enclose and protect the bud when the flower open out the sepal are found on the outer side of petal second one is petal petal are usually the brightest and the most colorful part of a flower their function is to attract bee butterfly and other insect which help in pollination inside the flower there are stamen are present which are male reproductive part of a flower the anther at the end of the stamen have yellow substance called pollen thus in the center of the flower there is a carpel or pistil is present that is the female reproductive organ stapel and petal are vegetative part of flower some plants such as cauliflower store extra food in their flower now let us see pollination of plant pollination is the process which occur when pollen grain from the male part of one flower that is anther are transfer to the female part that is stigma of another flower the insect help in pollination when they sit on flower the pollen dust fall on pistil and fertilize is one pollination is occur the fertilized flower produce seed these seeds grow into the fruits fruits contain seeds from which new plant can grow fruits the carpel found inside the flower turn into the fruits the fruits primarily contain two part the pericarp and the seed pericarp it is actually outer wall of ovary from which the fruit develop the pericarp has three layer exocarp mesocarp and endocarp 
फर्स्ट वन इज एक्सो काप दिस इज द आउटर मोस्ट लेयर ऑफ पेरी काप दैट फॉर्म द स्किन सेकेंड इज मीजो काप इट इज द थिक फ्लैशी एंड जूसी मिडल लेयर ऑफ पेरी काप थर्ड वन इज एंडो काप इट इज द इनर मोस्ट लेयर ऑफ फ्रूट विच ऑफ्टन डेवलप्ड इन टू द पिथ फ्रूट्स कम इन मैनी शेप साइज एंड कलर एग्जाम्पल्स आर एप्पल ग्रेप बनाना एंड मैंगो फ्रूट्स हैव टू मेन फंक्शन फ्रूट्स प्रोटेक्ट द सीड दैट आर फाउंड इन साइड दैम फ्रूट हैव वन सीड और मैनी सीड्स सम फ्रूट सच एज मैंगो हैज ओनली वन सीड एप्पल एंड ऑरेंज हैव मैनी सीड फ्रूट्स ऑल्सो एक्ट एज स्टोर हाउस ऑफ एक्स्ट्रा फूड प्रिपेयर बाय द प्लांट सीड्स एंड इट्स जर्मिनेशन प्रोसेस सीड्स मोस्ट ऑफ द फ्रूट हैव सीड्स सीड्स आर डिफरेंट कलर शेप एंड साइज अ सीड्स इज अ पार्ट ऑफ अ प्लांट फ्रॉम विच अ न्यू प्लांट ग्रो द फ्लैशी और हार्ड पार्ट ऑफ अ फ्रूट प्रोटेक्ट द सीड टिल दे आर मेच्योर वेन द फ्रूट राइपन इट फॉल टू द ग्राउंड एंड गेट स्क्वैश द सीड्स कम इन कॉन्टैक्ट विद सॉइल एंड न्यू प्लांट ग्रो मैच्योर सीड्स कैन ग्रो इन टू न्यू प्लांट्स ओनली इफ दे हैव प्रॉपर कंडीशन टू जर्मिनेट दैट इज टू स्टार्ट स्प्राउटिंग नाउ लेट सी द जर्मिनेशन ऑफ सीड a seed contain a baby plant a seed need soil water air and sunlight to grow into a new plant the process of growth of a new plant from a seed is called germination this sequence keeps repeating in every generation and is known as the life history of a plant thank you